Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So today we're going to be having a look at the Neuralek STR Receiver HF bundle that you can purchase directly from Neuralek or you can get it off Amazon and maybe even some other stores like eBay. If you need a link to this particular package I'll leave it down in the description below. So let's go ahead and start looking at the contents of what we get in this HF bundle. So the first thing is, is obviously this is the SDR receiver itself. Uh, this actually receives from 25 megs all the way up to 1.7 gigs. Um, we can see here it's uh, it's made of metal, which is quite nice, feels very sturdy. We have a SMA female on this end and on the other end is a USB connection which obviously just plugs into your PC, Mac, laptop etc as USB port. Comes with a nice little protector so if you're moving it around you can easily put the cap on and it will protect it. So the second item that we've got in this particular package is what we call the ham it up. Now if you're not familiar with what this is I'll give you a brief explanation. Okay, so what this does is it actually converts the lower frequencies to uh, a higher frequency, which then actually allows you to listen to HF band. Now, I believe that the um, frequency range of this is actually 100 kilohertz all the way up to 25 megs. It's quite nice. It comes in a nice aluminium case. And let's just go through the connections here. So we have a SMA female connection here. We have low volt USB power and up convert, which obviously they give you indications of low power. It's being powered by USB or it actually is running in up convert mode. This is the RF input, so this is actually where you would plug your antenna. On the front side here, we have a USB connection. This is very similar to the printer USB connections that you get. This end, we have a, another SMA female connection along with this pass-through switch here. So you can have it in up convert mode or in pass-through a little bit more of an explanation so this particular SDR receiver will allow you to receive from 25 megs up to 1.7 gigs if you want to listen to anything below 25 megahertz then you'll need to put this in line with the antenna that's the whole purpose of having this particular product and it's entitled ham it up I'll go through the setup of this in another video so please watch out for that as I'm sure you're going to find it very interesting if you've got this kit let's have a little look to see what else that we get in here so in the kit we also get some other connections as well let's just have a little look to see what we've got so we have here this is a, a male sma and this is going over to the tv antenna type connection you've probably seen these before connect to a, like a normal tv antenna and then we have a sma male which goes over to a connection which looks like the satellite connection. Uh, it's a female connection, so if you needed to plug it into a satellite dish, these are normally the type of connections which would be used. We also have here a little SMA patch cable. This little patch cable has two male SMA connections on it. I'll show you what that's for shortly. And lastly, in this particular bag, we have a little adapter. And this is uh, SMA male to SMA male as well. Also in the package, we get this little beauty of a product. Now you may be wondering what this is and it looks a bit strange. Well, firstly, it's got an SMA female connection here on one side and on the other side, it's got two little push clips which you can push down and insert a wire. Now what this is, this is actually an antenna ballon. So what a ballon is, actually stands for balanced to unbalanced, which basically means you can attach here an antenna so you can have one wire connected into this connection, another wire connected into this connection. And that will provide an unbalanced antenna to a balanced circuit. This is so that it matches the impedance to the connection 
onto the SDR receiver or the hammer up. Overall, this kind of device is normally used when you're not using a specifically tuned antenna. Now, if you've got a specific antenna which is tuned or a dipole or a vertical which is tuned for the frequency that you want to use, then there would be no real need for one of these. However, what you can do is have a couple of random length pieces of wire, plug them in here and here, the longer the better, and then obviously put this into the circuit with the rest of these and you'll get yourself a nice receiver. Also in the package, we get this really cool little base. And what this is, this is magnetic here, and it has a little small thread which allows us to connect an antenna. Now it does come with a supplied cable which is fixed into the base, and it also has the male SMA connection on the end here. The idea for this is because it actually comes with three different antennas. The first antenna would be this one here. This is a telescopic antenna, which can easily be attached to the base, just literally by screwing it on here. What you can then do is obviously extend that antenna. You can move it and angle it around. And because it's magnetic, you can put this on a biscuit tin or anything, or if you're using it mobile in a car or a home or something, you can stick it to the outside. The other antennas that we get, let's have a look. So we'll just take this one off. Now here we have a, another little small antenna. Now, normally rule of thumb is the smaller the antenna, the higher the frequency. So something like this may be used probably for ADS-B, which is or when you wanna track aircraft. So we're probably talking about 1.2 gigs. So if you're gonna be using it for tracking aircraft, you probably will want to go with this smaller antenna. And then we also have this one. Now this one is a little bit longer. Uh, unfortunately, they don't actually state in any of the documentation what frequencies each of these antennas are for. So this is probably just my best guess. So for example, the small one here is probably going to be for the higher frequencies. Like I said, 1.2 gigs. This one is probably gonna be anything between, I don't know, 100 megs and, uh, and 500 megs, something like that for say like two meters and 70 centimeters handbands. Uh, and then you're probably gonna use some something like this for uh, something else, <laughs> for, for a normal kind of radio maybe. And then when you get to the ultra low frequencies, you wanna be using something like this, which is the uh, one to nine ballon. Okay, so let's just put these bits to the side for the moment and uh, let's just have a look how we connect this up. So first of all, let's just take the SDR receiver itself. Now, if you just wanna be able to go ahead and listen to some frequencies between 25 megs and 1.7 gigs. All you need to do is literally take uh, this antenna base and what you do is you just screw this connection into here. You then have your antenna base here and you can go ahead and put on one of your antennas. So that's it that is connected. So all you need to do then is plug this into your computer and away you go. So if you wanna be able to listen to any of the frequencies between 100 kilohertz and 25 megs, then you will need to put this in line. Let me show you how you do that. So the first thing that you would actually want to do is connect the SDR receiver to this. Now this goes on the IF output section, which is here. Now there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can use this male to male SMA adapter. So you could screw that onto here. And then the other end, you can screw onto here, like so. Then obviously you have this is plugged into your computer. Okay, so it's probably not gonna be possible to go ahead and connect this actually directly onto your computer. So what you can do is use like one of these uh, extension cables, plug that onto the SDR receiver itself. And then you have a extension cable, which you can then go ahead and plug into your PC. Uh, this cable doesn't come with it, but uh, I'm sure you can pick them up quite cheap off of eBay or Amazon. So once we have this configuration, we now need to connect the antenna here. So you can either um, use one of the other antennas that you've got, or we can go ahead and use something like this. So if you want to, you are more than welcome to go ahead and use this particular patch cable, like so. 
and then you can have two pieces of wire in here. Generally this would be further away from the actual hammer up itself but that is the electrical circuit of how it actually works that is the, the principle of it. So that is pretty much how it all connects together. So what I'll do is I'm going to do some more series of videos where we actually use this product. Uh, I'm going to do a video which will cover using just this particular product, which is the SDR receiver itself. Then I'll do a video with it in conjunction with this and also using this ballon. Now when it comes to using this, there is some configuration that you need to do on your SDR software, but that will all be covered in the next video. Well, there we go. This is the new Elec SDR Smart HF bundle, which can cover from 100 kilohertz all the way up to 1.7 gigs. Like I said before, anything between 100 kilohertz and 25 megs, you must use the up converter. And from 25 megs up to 1.7 gigs, you can just use this on its own without this in line. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified of my next video, which I'm going to show how you can use these products and which software to use. Thanks for watching and until the next one, we'll see you then.